I've got a bit of a problem. On Friday, I ordered a new watch off eBay. It's gonna be coming on Tuesday. And yesterday, Saturday, I bought this. It's a old 1984 Seiko Quartz. I don't know like the model name, but randomly out of nowhere, I decided I want a Cartier tank. Like I used to hate them. I thought they were ugly. And then one day it just clicked and I'm like, I want a tank. And so I got this to see if I would enjoy wearing that type of a watch. So far, I really like it. All right, it's here. We're gonna be unboxing my new watch. I don't remember if I said what it is, but by the title, you know what it is. This is my first time seeing one of these in person, and especially in this colorway. We got the bubble wrap. We have a David SW box. Don't know what that is. And then we have wrapped up here, you can start to see the logo of a Tissot box. Let's go ahead and let's get her out and see what she's looking like. Show the camera first. I don't know if it's here or not, if it's fake or real. Now let's take a look. Oh, baby. So it comes on a very firm pillow and this is definitely a PRX chronograph. The new girl. This is actually really, really clean. Let's get it wound so we can. This feels solid. The dial is so clean. If I don't know how good the camera will do justice and how it will look in editing, but online, I thought that it was actually like a gray dial to match the color of like the bracelet and the case, but it's actually white with like a dark blue sub dials. And there's a little bit of brushing that you can see. I'm guessing you probably can't really see it on camera, but in person you can definitely see it. And it is clean, very clean watch. So size comparison, comparing it to the PRX, the 40 millimeter, it is significantly thicker, but not too thick. Um, and it's 42 versus 40, so it's just that little bit bigger. Watch on the homie's wrist. He has, I think, six and a half inch wrists, something like that. And it looks like, like a good proportion size. Like it's on the bigger side, but like not a too big, like just a good size watch. And in comparison, here's just the standard 40, the 40 mil PRX on his wrist. Um, so as you can see, it looks maybe only a hair bigger, like basically the same thing. So this is a little bit of on the wrist size comparison in terms of the thickness compared to my Seamaster, which is sits at about like 13.6 mil. And then the Tissot, which comes in, I think like 14.6, 14.7, something like that. That was my main concern when I got this watch is how thick it's gonna be. And as you can see, it's definitely a thick girl because of the chronograph, but it's not like overwhelming. Like I don't think it looks like too gross and too big. I think it's actually like really well proportioned. It's been maybe just about an hour on the wrist, which is not enough time to give like a good conclusion on this watch. But my initial thoughts on this watch are that it is just beautiful for the price. It's like a little bit a shame, but not really to be completely honest, a shame. Like the finishing and the bracelet is identical to the Powermatic 80 PRX, which for the price I think is the best watch you can get, like period. It would be cooler if they made something to differentiate this bracelet to make it just that little bit nicer, but it's also hard to complain because that bracelet is really, really good. Like the finishing on this watch for the price and for the movement and the dial and everything, all things considered, I would say it is a fantastic deal for your money. And if you're comparing it to similar chronographs in this price range, this is your best option. The pictures online, it make it seem like the dial's gray, but it's actually a white dial with like navy blue, dark blue sub dials. It's a really good, nice panda colorway and it is so clean in person. I need to do like obviously a little bit more with this watch. I've only had it for an hour, but I can tell you just from the hour I've had it, this thing is fantastic. So I've been wearing the Tissot PRX Chrono for a little over a week now, and I think I've worn it enough to give my kind of final thoughts and conclusions on owning it. For the price, uh, this coming in at retail price of $18.25, I got it for a little less than that. It, is really hard to want to get any other type of automatic chronograph in that same price range. You're looking at like the Hamilton Intramatics and some of the other Hamilton chronographs that are at about $2,200. And then you can get up to some more 
a little bit higher end ones that are at 3K, the $3,000 range. This at $1,800, it's really hard to like argue to get something different or better. The bracelet, the finishing is nice. The dial has a really nice brushing effect to it. And it's also a clean white dial with blue sub dials. It's just a very, very clean package for the price. The only two gripes that I have about it are number one, the accuracy. It's not anything bad. I was getting roughly like plus three to plus four seconds a day. Just comparing it to my other watches, my other PRX, the green dial PRX, or my Hamilton khaki field, those on the wrist are getting roughly like one plus one to like plus half a second a day. Like they're just running so phenomenally that that's why I like say that it's a gripe, but really that's not like that bad of a gripe. The other thing is the rotor on this watch. Um, the Valju 7753, which is in this, has a unidirectionally winding rotor. Um, I can't tell you the science on what that is, but how it feels on the wrist is when you have like quick wrist movements or shakes, you can hear and feel the rotor just spinning like crazy on the inside of it. It's not like really a bad, bad thing, but it does make the watch feel just that little bit like cheaper because it reminds me of my Timex that had a Miyota 8 series movement and it had the same thing. Anytime like I would move my wrist really fast or I'd hit it, my wrist on something, you could feel that rotor just spinning spinning really fast on the inside. But aside from that, for what you pay to get this watch, you get a lot of watch for your money. And I definitely think it is worth it, especially if you can get it a little bit under retail, which is what I did. But now the problem is I need to stop buying things. I ordered something on Friday. It's gonna be here next week. Probably gonna make a video on it because it is my other kind of obsession. But just, you'll see.